Welcome back to the channel. Merry Christmas everybody. Little tipple just to help me along with the cooking. Today I'm going to do a monkfish with a vegetable ragu. It's a wonderful dish, it really is nice. It's a good hearty meal and it's especially made for vegetarians. All right, must feel left out at this time of year, but not with this one. I can assure you this is well worth the effort. Watch along and I'll show you how to cook one of the kings of the sea. This is an alternative to lobster and it really is nice. And I'll see you in a minute. Bye. Let's get on with this monkfish dish. We're going to start off by making the ragu. You'll need vegetables and veg stock, but follow along to see what you'll need. First thing to do, add pancetta to a saucepan and burn it off to get the juices out. Jack wanted pancetta, but if you're making a pescatarian dish, don't add this. After, add peeled and half shallots, then again, let it cook off for a little bit. Proceed to add chopped carrots and green beans. Make sure they're chopped down to ensure they cook. Then add garden peas and cook out for a little bit. Now add a little bit of vegetable stock and simmer off. Don't add it all at once, add it bit by bit. Your last vegetables to add are cherry tomatoes and a few lettuce leaves. Simmer off the stock along with the vegetables and gradually add more stock as you go. Once it's simmered off for a while, your veg stock is cooked. Take it off of the heat and then save for when you build your plate. Moving on to the fish, usually your monkfish will be already prepared. But for educational purposes, I'll show you how to prep a monkfish tail. Start by removing the tail and dorsal fins. There's one on each side of the fish. Moving on, remove the skin from the entire monkfish tail. Once it's been skinned, it's time to remove the membrane. There's lots of membrane on this particular fish, so make sure that you get it all off. If you don't get it off, it makes it tough, untasty, and also curls up when it's fried. You'll know when all the membrane is gone because you'll see the white meat of the fish compared to the pink membrane. Now fillet the fish. Do this by removing the spine from the middle by cutting either side. After you should have two fillets, cut a portion of the fillet and prepare to fry. Add your fillet to a hot pan and then add some unsalted butter. Cook out and keep spooning the butter over the fish. Continue on and add a few sprigs of rosemary. This will add a lovely depth of flavour. So please don't forget this, obviously, unless you don't like rosemary, of course. Once your fish has started to brown, add to a hot oven to ensure the fish is cooked all the way through to 130 degrees, ready for serving. When you build your dish, Start by using a bowl and then add your ragu. Add the fish to the bed of the ragu, garnish with some garden salad and herbs. Last thing to do is enjoy it. Let me know in the comments how you got on. Hello, welcome back. Right. We've done the monkfish, it really has turned out well. It's a lovely alternative for Christmas dinner for people that are vegetarians. Monkfish is known as a poor man's lobster. Also, it's one of the kings of the seas along with turbot and also I might mention cod. It really is nice, it's a lovely dish. We've served this up with a vegetable ragu and I'm sure if you try this for Christmas, you won't feel left out. Please make it and enjoy your Christmas and I'll see you all again soon. Happy Christmas everybody. Thanks Jack.